Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for December 3rd. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, December 3rd, 1818, Illinois joined the Union as the 21st state. The state is named for the Illinois Indians. Chicago is the largest city in the state and the third most populous city in the U.S. The capital of Illinois is Springfield, which is also the home of the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. The purple violet is the state flower. Also, on this day in 1842, Ellen Swallow Richards was born. She was the first woman admitted to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and graduated in 1873. In 1884, MIT made Richards its first woman faculty member. She helped develop a new program in air, water, and sewerage chemistry. She also was a pioneer in the area of home economics. And on this day in 1922, the first really successful Technicolor motion picture film was released. The movie, shown at the Rialto Theater in New York City, was called The Toll of the Sea. World Toll World! Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word ski. A ski is a strip of wood, plastic, or metal that curves up in a point at the front. We use skis to travel quickly over the snow. The word ski comes from the old Norwegian word ski, which means strip of wood. The word ski is also a Scandinavian word for snowshoe. You know, the very first skis were made out of the rib bones of big animals. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the deepest diving mammal on the planet? The answer is the sperm whale. In 1991, scientists tracked a sperm whale diving down to 6,500 feet, or 2,000 meters, below the surface of the Caribbean Ocean. The whale was underwater for over an hour. That's quite a dive. I bet he took a big breath when he came back up. Health tips. Anatomy is the study of the structure of the human body. It's actually the oldest branch of medical science. Many of the names we use for body parts come from Latin or Greek words. For example, the esophagus, which is the food tube, or the trachea, which is our windpipe. Now, still many words for body parts are in English, like arms. Right now, take those two parts of your anatomy, your two arms, and give another part of your anatomy, your chest, a great big hug. We love people. A dictatorial government is one in which there are no limits on the power of the people who run the government. They can do whatever they want. Now, it's possible to have a constitution and still have a dictatorship. The constitution might be written to give a person unlimited power. Or the constitution might limit power, but not have ways to enforce those limits. Or there might even be ways to enforce limits written into the constitution, but no one actually enforces those limits. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>